do so as now the game is ready. And also you didn't mention Mirage once more. Uh, not seen that one today. No, no, no. Just it's been a Mirage all day. I don't even know about a bit of a racist. So Stiff might start playing under Wind and Rain. By looks of things. Um, this is a new org that I've actually got. I believe they have a league. Oh, they've been picked team. up. By looks of things, yeah. Um, so they're a new org that's been around for quite a few days, or not a few days, like past few weeks, months, and they've got a few streamers, that sort of thing. Mm. And this looks like a very quick whistle, but Lumji probably should have got more than one there. Lumji goes should down. Should have definitely got more than one. Yeah, that was a bit awkward. That so does happen shooting people in the back, though. Like, it's an understandable error. Shiki arrives, though. He's going to try and find something as he slips his way through the smoke. You've got Dance Season Kai playing these crossfires. So they're actually in fairly good after plants as well. They're playing it smart. There is one issue, and Enclave did not buy a kit on this round. Mm. So the longer the time ticks down, the harder it is for them to win. They're going to tap the bomb. They won't expect two people. Okay, there's not two jungle there. Ooh. He's just jump peeking right across connected. One of them has to stick it. It's yeah. has to. Yeah, round's over. Yeah, that's where you've left it too late at that point. Too much back and forth, obviously, trying to no adjust. Kit. It's really impossible to win that yeah. round in that situation. Unless you literally get an incredible shot. But... They weren't really giving you any many opportunities. Like Fry was jump crossing, well, jump by like, crossing, connect the, getting the bomb plant peak, and Dante's got the kill on Shiki as well. So, not much you can do there, like other than Lumji probably would be the main factor in that round, I suppose. Like if he gets two, maybe that round ends up differently. Mm. But again, shooting people in the back is very difficult on this game. Like it's one of those weird anomalies where, even though there's no like issue with hitbox or anything, that they just kind of you'd miss. Especially with George Bear. Ah, unless you are George Bear. That is, that is true. The master of the back shots. He'll take you down in an instant if you give him a chance. Oh, this is a classic. Win by a win first, basically, you rush be all five. Well, let's see if it's going to pay off. They've got the Mac 10s to just lay down the law upon them. They flood their way into the site, Ooh. but there is going to be an instant response there from Dream and Wish. They do get eventually traded out, Ben, as we fall into the 3v3. Bomb is down. That was really unfortunate by Whisk. He's got a spray across, but didn't actually get the kill fully. And looks like so, this is something that a lot of teams used to do in the past. Like, this was a meta about. Two and a half years ago, where you'd win the first like pistol round, rush B, you'd then rush B again, and then you do it on the buy round two, because you potentially hit them with no head armor, and you catch them off guard, and they won't expect a B rush on the buy first buy round because that is a bit insane. It'd be interesting to see if they do that again though. No, they've offered not to. It was always quite a fun strategy. I remember at one event we actually rushed B eleven rounds in a row. There you go. <laughs> we were eleven nil up. <laughs> we just Classic. kept on doing it. That's what it is, man. You find that weak. It's, it's a mind game. Keep it's a mind it. game, though, as well. Because like, you're like, no way. Yeah. I'm not gonna go beat. This again. one's looking a bit dodgy, though. Four v three. Shiki is a bit low, though. He shouldn't be able to get another kill. He got a lot of damage off there. Oh, fried dink down incredibly. Two v three, and the bomb is down in front of under. Wow. Wow. There you go. Okay. That's out of nowhere. Like really, I don't know. Shiki got a heck of a lot of damage done by the next connector, and the A stack works out beautifully. But that was just USBs and I think one P250. Yeah. Which is crazy, really crazy. They still they can still buy and everything. It's just a bit interesting. It means that whoever wins this round will reset the opponent. Yeah, it just projects you a lot farther forward <laughs> in a, a better time scale. Obviously, you do have the free AK that was then scavenged by Whisk. Yeah, definitely. They, they, oh, Whisk has been one of those players the past like few months or so that people have been saying he's one to watch. Like quite a talented player, good aim, and seems to listen to what he's been told by experienced players as well, which is something that not many young players do. I yeah. Guess. But the fact that Astro's got stairs here is a bit crazy. Lumji obviously the get getting forced him. to fall back. He's getting he's getting him. Him. Oh. He has to stay there because he couldn't get out. Dies, goes down to the molly, dances with the entry as well. The Shiki fires back, does find one. Oh, goes in for the second phase, the double dip, but he falls to Link. Oh, think them. That's the plant burn. But he's in 1v3. He has the bomb down and everything, but it's in a really difficult area. This is a big one. He's in a really rough situation here. Fry as well. He had the confidence to go for the push, knew where he was, takes him down. You hate to see it with a lungy like, just then. Like the molly. Arguably, that Molly shouldn't burn him. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's hit the floor and under, and it's somehow risen up and got him on the concrete box. Like, that's. It happens on a lot of surfaces in this game where it, I think it's a, just about like one and a half size that concrete box, it won't burn you. But otherwise, it will. Even though you're not technically, like, if you're on a box, it'll still burn you. So it's quite un unlucky, really. Like, it's one of those things. If you had a smoke, you probably could have put it out, but nonetheless, he was revealed. So, Whisk's got an M4 still this round. So I assume he would be the man to watch in this case. 
they left them as a like firebox or is that yeah okay so usually teams would put like the buy like the big gun to try and make a play with it or you put them to one side and have the rest of them gang up and you know stack b or stack mid or something like that oh they've opted for a bit of a two two one essentially Very with a close molly as well forces them back out so lumji has to dip try and stay alive Okay, so this has been a regular mid control essentially from Wind Remain thus far. Can't tell if he shot shot by a teammate or through the wall. That is really unlucky. That was a flash from West from sight, and Lumji pays the price for it essentially. Trials had to try to find that frag as well with the P250. Misses it. Dream firing out with a scout, but not really able to actually go for an actual peak. This is going to be a tough save. Yeah, this is going to be hard. Everyone is. Ideally, if you win the rain, then you try and delay the plant as long as possible just to hunt him down. Although you don't know he does have an M4 until now. He's been Mac 10 right across the map. <laughs> yeah, he's got the range to play with. <laughs> Fair enough. That was really well played with Nancy to get that. Jeez. Spraying for miles away. Killed him <laughs> from a different continent, Ben. <laughs> yeah, jungle of the continent mid. Yeah. Yeah. All the way to A site. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's all segmented. <laughs> it's all Yeah, we it's can all new. cut them into continents rather than areas it's of little, little territories. There's five USBs. Are they all in mid window? I would love to see how that <laughs> just like five blue dots just mashed together. Yeah, spamming out those USP shots, hoping to find something. Ooh, they might all be set ablaze as well. Oh but they are caught in a horrible situation. Dancy's gets two of them at ten, so it's a nice bit of cash to play with. He Gigi's can do a bit of gambling. Big kills with this USB. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> Especially considering it's against, like, you know, guns fully. Yeah. Whisk might be able to get one more kill here. Like, I think that's probably your best case scenario. Like, not unless he peeks. Don't, 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 don't. Wait for this point. Oh, he gets oh. it with a nice snapshot. He's into the 1v2. Obviously, he has to try and play this stealthy. He's got one bullet. <laughs> Well, he's got 12 now. Yeah, yeah thanks. So he's, really off. he's reassured himself. Ah, peeks round, though. Obviously, crates with the back 10 is so much easier. You can just spam, find that frag. I feel like he needed to wait for the plant so he can grab the AK as soon as he gets the kill and yeah. then take a fight Work on. with the weapon from yeah, there. Rather than USB, because he's stuck in that position no matter what there. Ideally, he would have had an AK or some other gun available. I was surprised that killed Astro, to be honest. I felt like, I felt like he needed one more shot after the headshot. Yeah. Maybe he just, you know... It was a bit too much, and he just, just took it on the chin. He didn't, yeah, he didn't want to have the sadness of potentially the bomb plant yeah. seeing him and then just like killing him. He thought he'd just let it go. That'd be some horrible guilt to deal with. Now, this is a classic Lumji angle coming out as well. Yeah. This is vintage Lumji gameplay. Yeah, I'm not sure how many hours he's had of CS in like the past two weeks or so. We haven't seen much of him, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think he plays much anymore. So oh. this is... The classic um, wall of smokes that you the opposite side essentially. Yeah. It looks like it's getting dealt with pretty well so far. Yeah, they've had a lot Happy, of success with the early faces. Lumji finally comes through as well, but Link does trade it back off the AK. He's already got two frags into this round. He can be very effective with a rifle. This is one of the situations where he's allowed to pop off a little bit more as well. Has to wait for Dancy's to actually rotate over there. They've got a minute, so an abundance of time is sitting there, Ben. Yeah, 3v2. He needs Dancy's to get here before he can really do anything. It's been long enough now, though, that I think they might be doubting themselves about anybody being there. But after that flash, they should still know somebody here. Depends who's going to make the first move. Looks like he's gonna, Dance is going to lead. You're going to go for the double frame. I'm not sure if he'll face this angle here, though. But we will. Finds the shot. Dance does it, but he's low. Molotov down Whisk as well. comes connector again, and they won't expect that. You got the response from Dream by CT. The Molotov doesn't really block off too much. Whisk isn't going to go for the initial face. Just slowly does it. Not very confident there. I'm not too sure on the likelihood of this going well. Whisk's got the two flashes, and Dream's kind of stuck at CT. Flash goes out. That's blind at Dream. Yeah, he put full of white in him. <laughs> early there. <laughs> Which get blinded by his teammates. Flash, obviously, into a 2v2. They know the location of Dance. He's Link pushes Ooh, out, okay. though, with the AK. Five bullets. Oh, yeah. Caught between a rock and a hard place. Not much you can do. Whisk goes down to Dance's with a quick shot. You can see the difference in chemistry right there, I feel. Like, clearly Link and Dancy have been in situations like that before, quite often, and they know how to play together, whereas the Enclave guys, they're not really key, like, they don't, you know, they're not sure what tendencies their teammate has, how eager they are to go through smokes, how eager they yeah. are to go through your flashes, that sort of thing. 
That actual A take they just did though was actually something that VP used to run a few years ago. The Dancy's was towards B. It's where you plant in front of triple and he jumps off B and goes short for plant. But obviously they didn't yeah. get the plant for that situation. Ooh, response from Dream with the Deagle to open this one up though as he fires three fast. 3v3. Three. You got a kill on ramp as well. It's a good trade. I mean it's winnable. Charles has got an AK with armor right now. All depends on Dream I feel. Whiskers well needs to get info from this and then respectively adjust his position. Obviously, this B play is coming out now pretty fast. Oh, he finds good. the first kill on towards Dance. He's and the second as well. CZ Madness comes out. That's really awkward. Depends now. Dream shouldn't. I don't know. I don't know how aggro he should be here. With that noise, though, he should be able to wait. Craze goes straight through. He's Why, though? <laughs> He's Tour de Mirage, I guess. <laughs> That's an interesting decision. He must be. He's, he is looking for Dream, but I'm kind of confused. He's, he's just fully elephant footed that whole. Yeah. Thing. I mean, it's been long enough now that, like, he clearly went for that kill that way. He's only going to be coming from kitchen or back of the ups. I, I don't think he'd come back short. That would make sense. Whisk scoped on here, I think. Isn't yeah, Whisk should just be watching this angle. So there we go. Really good run by Whisk. The fact he got the two was kind of phenomenal, really, especially when considering he killed Dancy's first, which is the AWPer. Mm -hmm. That should have been an instant trade for Fry, but didn't get it. There's a second eco round one by Enclave. They haven't done too great on the gun runs, but the CT size of this far tonight have been a bit shambolic other than Radix, really. Yeah, I think that has been sort of running trend throughout the entire entire show, pretty much. It's yeah. always looked a little bit off. Like, Radix ran the game, essentially, just by playing really aggressive. And... You know, a lot of the issues have been just not having enough money. Being broke, being out on the streets. Astro, though, with the first, as he wants to try and take down Sheiky. Dream does fire back and actually stop them from getting anything more. Dancy's luckily has come through towards Trials as well, though. Oh, Lamji with a headshot. Ooh, dink. That was Chris. He got the first. But Ooh, wait, what? Craze already round. That's really well played by Lamji. He got a dink off as well as getting the second frag. It's huge. Oh, how I grow. That's a really good round. Dream and Lumji, the stand-in's coming in huge. Right there. Yeah, that is big. That's the thing, I mean, for Lumji as well, he always has been a player that... He's always done well in situations he's always where he's really allowed. good aim. Yeah. Yeah, he's really Chris. Good he's, he's a good solo player. Like, really good. You can always rely on him to get at least one. Well, that's the thing. That's why he's always been sort of utilized in positions where it'll be like, you put him in an angle where he's going to be the frontline infantry to so a sight take, yeah. and normally he will get at least two sort of kills on those entries as they try and push through. That's always been his sort of play style. Yeah, I remember, I think it was in that old Xanax lineup with um, Cheeky and Rattlesnake and stuff. He always played solo B and did really well in cash. B cash, yeah, yeah. I remember. That's why it was called Lumji for our yeah, really a useful position. position. <laughs> yeah. And nice, clean eco round as well. It was swift. That's really good. Dreams on 11 frags, considering probably all. I think he plays at UKPL every now and then, but... Other than that, competitive CS, I don't think he's played in quite a well. while. No, I don't think I've seen Dream on a team no. for a little while. Obviously, in terms of things here as well, for Trials, uh, what have we saw? Has there been much since that stint infused? I feel like that was kind of it, right? I think it was just that, followed by stints and small UK teams, but nothing no, There's wise. been nothing notable that like, we've actually yeah. seen, yeah. Let me do with another frag. Trials does take down Fry though. So we fall into a four versus three. This is looking good for Enclave. Oh, there's the follow back though from Astro as he lands the headshot on Trials. Obviously, this needs to be a quick rotate towards that A site. They are in the site, but they're still playing it timid. Oh, Dream with a wall bang takes down Astro eventually. Had a lot of faith in that. Oh, Dream. Plus, he got the first guy's firing. Yeah. Done more than enough. He got away with the kill on Dance. He's yeah. Pretty ridiculous. He's doing really well right now. Whiskers as well. Like, well, it seems I've been watching for Whisks, really, because he's one of those players, up and coming, good aim, listens, which, you know, that's just Necessary, two things. If you're a new rare. player, <laughs> up and, yeah, it is rare. <laughs> and for an up and coming player, that's the p th two things you need to succeed. Yeah. That as well as, you know, hard work, I suppose, is the other one. Putting some dedication. One. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Classic throwback to what we saw before trials with the mid players. He slips his way up, gets one. Astro does take him down off the back that's of the CZ, enough, though. Think. No. I think Going for the one for one and giving them an yeah. M4. In that scenario as well, you arm these players with an M4 now. They have armor to work with on Astro. Yeah, I'm not sure. Nobody was there supporting him or anything. It was a bit silly, I guess. Yeah. If you go for a mid push like that, you just need at least someone. Usually, go for the if deep somebody window. flashes something, yeah. 
and then they cover under bus. Like if he succeeded submit, he would have got killed from under bus anyway. Yeah. So he was in a hundred percent loss there. Oh. And this map control is so weird right now. There's nobody on A. Yeah, they're paying really restricted <laughs> choke points. This Not is really weird. No one's supporting each other. And Crazy so. in jungle. <laughs> it is interesting. Wisk going to be going for the information play now, so he's finally going to clear this. And they've all just fallen. Down, both of them fall to the CZs. Obviously, Cray and Link respectively coming in. This is not good. Is Dream hoping to outwit them, just by the fact that they know he's a B player? They haven't fallen for it. That's quite unlucky. I think that was one of the, like, the only ways he wins the round, other than... I mean, if he wins this, just straight by killing them all. Fair enough. Yeah, that would be but ridiculous, though. <laughs> that would be crazy. So you're going to go for the bomb plot now. You can see Kray's eager to go for the face. Yeah, knows what he was up Constant. to do there. Yeah, that was kind of the only way I think he wins around. If they go into pass, he picks them off mm. with their backs turned or in the side. Ultimately, spiraled off trials. Like, there was a push mid with no backup, no cover. Questionable, really. Sheik going to be given the AWP as well into this round. Mm. Got to spawn towards the B side. Yeah, I was wondering, because I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure who the AWP would be on that lineup. Uh, Sheiky has been known to pick it up, but like, he wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't class yeah. him as a primary AWP. -er. It's not really a role that he's always been no. situated into. Yeah. So, uh, where's he holding that? Is that short aggro? Yeah. Okay. Not many grenades to work with on the CC side here, either. Ooh. That was so close. <laughs> That could have been filth, to be fair. <laughs> okay, so the the way they're playing A right now is a bit, it's a bit too passive, I think, considering they have no nades, they've got two flashes, no smokes left, no mollies. I feel like one of them needs like flash into palace to get some map control of some kind. And cheeky's just been one bombed by Astro. Yeah, so Astro taking him down isn't a great start for the Enclave side. No. Obviously, they're trying That's to respond all the to it. Gone. They want to go for this push with Trials and Lumji. Oh, Link doesn't even get the first. Lumji actually takes him mid. down. This is a good position now. They bring it back in their favor, and they get one more frag as well. Friday Woods no could now. be deadly. No ramp. Timing. Fry and Cray. Wow. It all falls to pieces. Yeah. In a matter of seconds. He's frying them up. They're all gone. They're all done and dusted. Whisk as well has to push through. It's just a matter of time before he gets found by Dancy's here, so mm. an additional kill won't matter too much as Winner Ring do actually get that round. And the money on the CT side is destroyed once more. I'm not sure. Technically, two or three of them are on a double eco here, and that means they will be on a prep by next round, which is the final round of the half. So are they banking on the fact that they might be able to get the sixth round and the last round? Yeah, looks like they are. Okay. It's an interesting choice. Like, they have won quite a few ecos with nothing, really. Yeah. So... It's a bit of an interesting one. Like, I think Shiki feels confident that they could win the game with six rounds, essentially. If they win that last round of the half, get the momentum, get the pistol, that goes, but and you convert the eco rounds, that's 9 9. And it's all to play for. Well, mid control comes out into the round, though, as they attempt to try and see what they can work with. Obviously, you try and keep yourself at range, really, against these pistols. Don't put yourself into a disadvantage. Yeah, that was a much better mid tick. That we've seen <laughs> recently. From NSG. <laughs> oh. There's the train. Shiki with another USP kill. Huge. The sneaky Shiki. Oh, a headshot comes out from Lincoln Astro, though, to finish yeah, that one, one off. One kill's best. Like, yeah. It's not, it's not we expect more, I Lip guess. Taps. No AWP again, but they're all rifle M4. It's an interesting choice. They are lacking grenades wise, again. They had that issue on the last Baron they had, and ultimately they needed to make a play. Because it lasted about, what, a minute into the round, and they had no nades left anywhere, she could get killed mid, and then it all fell to pieces. The question is, will they do that again? She looks like he's going to peek underpass, but I'm not sure what he's, maybe he thinks they're going to connect there. It's timing. Oh, Shiki sneaking up. Astro going to go for the play, Ben, as he slips Ooh. through, finds the headshot. <laughs> You do hate to see that. Yeah, it's <laughs> That's a classic AK vs M4. Gonna be a bit of a tilt up. Oh, Trials as well, trying to go for the quick flick to actually Lumbia ward off this push. Boards. They know it's there. It wasn't fast enough. <laughs> I've just been spotted out instantly <laughs> into his position. Turtle shell. Not, oh, he's been bombed. I mean, this is still winnable. There's no kit in play, though. That's one issue. And Astro's right below. 
They're both walking up at the exact same second. <gasps> no, drop on his head. Oh, Astro with the kill. It's just on Dream Ben. 1v3. He go. He's going for the Lands the shot through the blindness, actually, fighting like Daredevil. Because he will get yeah. the first one, but that's all he's going to be able to get. 10 to 5 is the score line. Wind and rain. 10 rounds in the lead, looking pretty good. Yeah, looking really good. The chemistry, as you can see, that they played with each other quite a while. They look confident in trading, confident in peaking together, and working together, essentially, as well, which it's nice to see again. Like, they've been together for quite a bit, and it's clear Neil Zeno is bringing stuff to help them as well. Like, they're, yeah. it's clear that they're quite experienced in the sense that they know they don't have many needs. We can just delay the round as long as possible, and we can catch them when they don't have anything. Yeah, it actually does look like a really good team overall. This is the thing as well you need to see coming out once you get into that position. Being able to have a good teamwork in terms of just like quick calls in the mid round and mm. flash me and cover me here. Knowing how to play with each other is very, very useful. And you can see, as you said earlier, it looks good. It seems that like everyone's head's on the same page. They're bouncing ideas off of each other and it works in the late round. And that's where you need good teamwork. Yeah, like it's something that a lot of teams do lack. Like they've got the star power and then, but they're not working together. They're yeah. kind of all trying to make their own little play, but not getting into like, fashion. Not actually end. work as yeah, a team. Exactly. So it looks like we'll be going into the pistol round. So I feel like Enclave need this pistol, to be honest. Yeah. To have a chance. So Shiki's already throwing a smoke and Dreamers too. It's fast jungle and I imagine deep connector in jungle. Smokes. Where have those smokes gone? I'm assuming it's connector and I haven't I haven't seen them bloom, so oh there you go. Okay, yeah, it's top connector. And then they've taken full jungle control. They had a molly, but they used it early. Astro has a smoke, Fry has a smoke, and so they've got two smokes and a flash as well as a kit. And it's a full 5v5 retake. This Link. is quite spooky. Four CT running in. Oh my god. Yeah, Link goes down immediately though. The smoke is on the bomb for Astro. So they can try to cross through Cray with the first shot. Oh, Fry as well. And this is just it. deadly. Yeah. All they've got to do is just fight, just ward them off. You can be way too busy trying to actually push through those CTs to even deal with a guy defusing the bomb. That's a quick pistol. That was a very, very swift read. And a match pimple and stuff like that. Yeah. No surprise. I think what I saw just then was that Shiki ran into Palace after the round ended, stopped completely still, and it went straight to the ball. So that's, I believe that's on an enclave side. So they got the plant. So they will be looking at, what, 2350, about 2650, money-wise. They'll have the buyer under the third round. They could be talking about potentially buying here. Oh, it's actually wind and rain. They've gone oh, for technical points. Technical. Oh, OK. That's interesting. I wonder, I wonder why. Issues. Yeah, because it didn't feel like anybody had any issues. Like, they were popping heads. <laughs> it's true. They, they were popping they were heads. Good. Yeah. Um, I think all Shiki's kills have been USP. All four USP frags. I've seen three. I can I can remember. Maybe then. I can't think of the fourth. Well, you know what they say. Um, kind of shiki chic. When it rains, it pours. Oh. Mm. And it wins. Yeah. When? By the way, I, I didn't. So is it like is it like war, but also wind and rain? And what is wind and rain? Is that just wind and rain? Yeah, rain and wind. Yeah. Normally the wind is just kind of there anyway. And then you had some rain. Like there's normally kind of some kind of wind, pretty much always. I don't feel yeah, like there's ever not wind. Breeze. Yeah, there's always like a light breeze. So what like L B A R light breeze and rain. <laughs> light breeze and rain doesn't really fluff tongue does it? Light breeze and rain. I don't know. War. War is raw. War never changes. No. Oh. Okay. That's yeah, I didn't know they'd joined them though. But I, I no, believe they got a about an hour ago. No. Oh. So there you go. That's new. It's hot off the presses. Hot off the press. Yeah. Get this out. <laughs> <laughs> Ship it now. Yeah, I believe they're the league team at the UK Prem as well. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Well, I know a few people who are like content creators. Oh okay. Under them. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. So some more information about war and rain. <laughs> Wind and rain. War and rain would just kind of be like generally war. Yeah. I feel like it's probably quite rainy quite often. It rains a lot. Flash them up, Palace. Cheeky, you don't want to have the bomb if you're flashing them out. You'll be last out. There's yeah. CT. It's a retake play anyway. Cray's playing CT and Dancy's is stairs though. Cray's got the scout for it. Yeah. Ooh. And he finds the headshot Dancy's as well. <laughs> Famous in. no plant coming. Ooh, he's gone famous with the Famous. As he finds all these frags. Cray as well for the last one. Well then. Cray had the perfect lineup on that flash. To be fair. So here comes the buy. They've got next to no grenades. I think it's what? Three smokes and four flashes. Or five flashes. That's not the greatest. 
and not going to be able to do much. Like top mid control won't work that great unless you do the spawn smoke. In which case, you might have people peeking off shore, you might have people connector. There's far too many people to see. But it looks like they're just waiting for any aggression, which, you know, it's a fair play because some, some teams do. Well, they'll know that you're going to be on a buy, they'll put some aggression out, catch you off guard. But it doesn't look like this is the case. Lumji's ready for the ramp push. But they're playing the SK set, I mentioned. Oh my god. They've just triple faced mid with one flash. That's. I mean, they're making use of the lack of grenades that they do have right now, which. Yeah. Fair enough. Like that's that's how you should be playing it if you can. Okay. You gotta you gotta deal the hand you've dealt. They did get mid control. They leave one person there and they pull off, and it looks like they're gonna go to a day. But when when you're playing that SK set I mentioned earlier, we're falling with off the angle, but they're just playing Link holding the angle and Dan is there for the bait. Cool. So Lumji gets the contact there. Yeah. If they know about the setup, they know he should be tight right still. It's a very common setup even before that. I see how they actually opt to play against this. Crucial. This. Obviously, Dancy's he is going to be so effective if they actually do push into flashing this. Flashing so long, they're waiting it out. I think it's going to flash in as well. Oh, it's the Molly. It's a good Molly. Timing wise, Dancy's got smoke. If he really wanted to, he could get out of that. I think it's a smoke up. Yeah, smoke's up. Backs off. Yeah. They have to flash to retake that. No. And if they want, they don't need to play close anymore. They can play a bit more, like cross angles. This is the difference as well. It's really good use of uh, it's utility on their CT side yeah, to actually delay, that's thing. which is huge. Very useful. Burst comes through. They seconds. do want to try and switch it up, but that's so much Can't time that was wasted. Mash, oh, this is 15 huge. 15 seconds. Huge flash. Look at all of them. They're so oh. blind. Dancy's whipping out the dance moves. <sighs> he does the fox no at all. That's really well played. That was smart. Starved them out. Yeah. yeah. Just use smokes, use utility. Mm -hmm. Actually played just, you know, really slow, normal counter strike there, which was, yeah. was clever. I absolutely stopped them out. It was really, really well played. That's the kind of stuff I like to see whenever they kind of know that the T's won't have that many grenades. Like, pissed around, what, they got one kill and one guy got plant. And the second round, they didn't get anything, I don't think. Yeah. So they knew there's only, you get, what, 2200 and 1400 and whatever much money you had before that. So they knew there's like, what, two smokes in play? Is this A smokes? Or is it some crazy. Oh, okay. So they threw the jungle and stair smoke, but they've got three more smokes still. They're going to redo it in like 20 seconds. Maybe longer. The mind game's coming out. Yeah. That's all the investment they had, though, is what pumped into yeah. the smokes. This needs to actually pay off off the back of the play. So Shiki's going top mid to try and draw something. But if, if I see Shiki playing a low in top mid with the Deagle, I'm thinking they're going to come bursting one of the other sides. There's no one actually spotting it, though. So he's no, they don't, there's no it. reason to risk it, yeah. though. Like, that best, they'll have the Eagles. It's not worth it. Get behind Dancy's. If it creeps through the smoke with a time in, this could actually work very well for mm -hmm. him, which is going to be Dancy's nice. Dancy's going to be ready to fight A instead of connect. Yeah. Oh, Shiki comes That's through. That's good trade. Really good gets trade. one. Goes down towards Astro, though. Astro is well waiting. He knows for. Trials dropped down next time. He's going to clear it. Yeah, he knows. See. Crazy still got the scout. Crazy with P250 is what he needs for close range. Knows these firebox. He's going for one time. <laughs> Just the P250 war right now. Dream as well. Close range combat with the scout isn't quite going to go the way he wanted it to, and it's all on wish. Bit of a waste of a molly, in my mind. It does miss. It's not worth. Yeah. Six, it's not it's worth the really 600. Right. Guess review on you may as well just kill them, but that doesn't make a difference really to us. But it's just one of those small things, I suppose. 14-5. We've got an enclave buy coming up though. They don't really have a prominent orper. Dream used to orp actually, back in the last few years. I'm interested. No AWP and one HG and the rest are all. I don't know who actually would be the dedicated AWP then, if it would just be Sheiky actually picking up on occasion when necessary. It might be SDK or maybe hit Mr. Hoy regularly. Like those two are the ones missing. It oh, could be yeah, one of those it'd two. It would be like Mr. Hoy then, wouldn't it? I think? I'm not sure. Yeah. I haven't. There's a double AWP in Wind and Rain right now though. I mentioned there's, they've got loads of people who can AWP. And this is a classic. Mm. Flash out Palace. Oh my god. Oh! Dancies! Oh my goodness. I mean, that was filth. That's ridiculous, that final shot as well. He was so confident on the peaks, yeah. so he was really wide. <laughs> That's kind of the play style you expect to see yeah. with Dancy's, to be fair with you, though. It is quite bold. He wasn't that confident during the Elite Series. It's nice to see him playing a lot more. Well, yeah, because he always had this. We always talked about he had the skill to do it. Yeah. He just didn't, he didn't feel like he was willing to try and risk it. You know yeah, I mean? it always seemed like it was the risk-reward factor for him. He was always rather be flight than fight. He never kind of yeah. wanted to take that risk. 
Where in reality, when we used to see him do it online with Prem before, yeah. he was good at it, especially on LAN as well. If the I remember there was one clip as well when he was on Cobble Plat. Mm -hmm. And he got head north, I think it was, and he was just killing everybody. Yeah, he was really well. Him, smacking him down. He's really effective when he actually wants to play in his own sort of mindset. Yeah. You should get a kill or two here. Yeah, easy headshot. Man. Oh, no score! <laughs> oh, he is dirty. He's a dirty little man. Fry's no. jumped out as well. <laughs> <laughs> and last one, Lungy falls 16 to 5, I believe that was. Wow. Well, that, that was quick.